Okay, welcome back to Subsistence. I have done a lot since the last time I recorded. I've been just trying to gather up as much resource as I can to so I can get farther along. I've got the dive station now, which I still got a whole ton of work to do to get the stuff to be able to get any of the dive equipment, but I do have it. Um, I've got a nice stockpile of food, which is good. I actually got a beehive too. I got some honey from, and I managed to do it without getting stung. I was able to get to a, a lake and get the bees off of me, so that was good. Uh, let's see, what else did I get since last time? I don't know if I had two stoves or not. It's because I've, I've played so much lately without actually recording, so I'm kind of playing catch up on what I had last time I did record. I've got my solar panel. I'm pretty sure I had that. I did not have the wind turbine though which right now it's not really spinning because there's not much in the way of wind but the nice thing between having the the solar panel and the the turbine is usually on a sunny day it's not windy and when it's not sunny it's usually windy so I'm getting a little bit of power e either way uh, let's see what else do I got oh, my stockpile is pretty good on a lot of different items. Uh, let's see. I've got the rifle, which I had that. Right now I'm kind of really hurting on anything when it comes to weapons. <laughs> Bullets. And I've got... I do have enough to get a couple of things. Let's Let's take a look at the workbench here and see what because my biggest thing is that ammo cartridges is what I usually hurt pretty bad on getting. So I need zinc and copper. Let's see what I've got. Uh, okay, zinc and copper. I need. Problem is, is my my power is pretty low. I'm gonna have to do a little foraging first. Because I want to be able to have both of my generators. Oh, and I have two power generators too now. So I think we're going to head out. I could try doing some fishing too. Head out to one of the lakes. Uh, see, I don't have any shotgun shells. Or rifle shells right now. Oh boy, and he, he sees me. <laughs> I don't think I do. No. And... Yeah, I don't have either of those, so all I have is the pistol right now. But let's let's head out to one of the lakes. We're gonna try to gather some more um, seashells, or not seashells, the uh, pearls from the seashells, because I think we need that to make some of the stuff that we need for getting farther along. I do have some planks going right now, and some rope. I'm going to be build, making a lot of rope and a lot of planks because I'm going to try to do because I'm going to set up some walkways from my second floor and put them like make like ramps going out to different areas and that way I can kind of use it to get around above the the wolves and the bears and that way I'll be able to take and hunt them a lot easier without you know needing to worry about getting attacked. chicken. Uh. Oh good, that's what we need is some cartridges. Because I need f oh, I need six of them to, to make shotgun shells. And I want to, because I want to be able to make uh, shotgun bullets because that's what I can use to kill the, the wolves. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. So now we can actually make some shotgun shells. I kind of wish there was a way to, like, upgrade something so that it would cost a lot less to make those. 
that's kind of a ridiculous amount to make for shells. It's like you should, if you get a box of cartridges, you should be able to make a whole box of shells, not just one shell at a time. That's one thing I would, you know, change about the game. That would be a, a lot more realistic if if it was like that. Because who who needs six boxes of cartridges to make one shotgun shell? You know, <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. So if there if there was like cheats in the game, that would be one one of them that I would use. I would change, you know, if you were able to change up some of the requirements for build building stuff. Yep, I can't reach it. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why they put those at that spot because it's like you can't climb sideways on a on a wall. How are you supposed to harvest those uh, nodes? that are on the side of a cliff or on the side of a rock face that you can't actually get to. There have been good, quite a few cases around. And that's one thing I really need a lot of is the biofuel because I want to be able to get my generators going but it's so hard to make ammunition to kill the animals to get the fat to make the biofuel. September in the game, so seems to be quite a bit of stuff grown. I have a feeling coming to October, which the I think the moose that yeah, it's the moose will start getting really aggressive in October because it's mating season, so their aggression level get comes up higher, so they might attack even if you don't attack them. So you want to be careful. Uh, I was going to go to a lake. Let's see if we're even going in the right direction. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, there is a lake over here. Oh, and I did, uh, let's see. This lake, I explored a lot more up over in this lake, too. I need to still hit this other shoreline. Well, let's just keep going this direction and we can find our way along to that lake over there. I want to get down and see if I can find some more um, pearls and stuff to use for building. Plus the, the sandstone, I'm pretty sure I haven't made any yet because I haven't really had the power to process any of it, but I think the sandstone is probably for making glass. Oh, there's some... What's this one? Iron, okay. Oh wow, this is a great little spot. Look at all that. <laughs> okay, ammo cart. Hopefully it's got ammo in it. Oh, a couple cartridges. That's that's good. These medical kits never actually have anything medical in them. <laughs> well, it did have a seed for medical plants, but which I'll have to eventually get another grow pot going because I do have the seeds to, to do another grow pot. Now that I got two fireplaces too, I, I'm getting the ash that I would need. I should be hunting some of these chickens too. I do have enough food, but the thing is, is that, you know, if you don't hunt constantly, you eventually are going to run out, so, because you do eat quite a bit. Well, September definitely a good month for getting a lot of plants. I don't know if the game's gonna have like 
the plants are just going to kind of disappear come, you know, October. Oh, bear. And he's looking at me. <laughs> Run the other way. Just got one shotgun shell, and that's not going to be enough to kill a bear. Uh-oh. Is he chasing me? Oh, wait a minute. I just went in a big old circle. Oh my goodness. I thought I was running to the lake and I ended up right back at my cabin. <laughs> I guess we're going to the lake at the other end <laughs> of the map. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got lead back here because there's copper here. Yeah, that's the whole reason. starting to get cloudy. I'm hopefully the, now that's getting cloudy that the wind will be picking up. Oh, there's another case. Oh, what is this? Carrots. That's good. I want to find as many vegetables as we can. Get them in the refrigerator because come winter we're not going to be finding that. Oh, nice. A shotgun shell and oh, there's a wolf. Okay, let's uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run. Oh, come on. Whoa. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Well, at least he did not make me bleed, so I don't have to use a bandage. Well, I guess we're sidetracked again. Let's go wash up and then we'll go cook up some of this meat and get that fat going and see if we can get a little power generating with the... Oh, wait a minute. Is this stuff ready to harvest? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, let's let's go in and grab the the ash out of these. Plus, let's let's get all these vegetables and stuff put in the refrigerator. Yeah, look at this. I've got nine potatoes. That's awesome. Bunch of carrots, nine carrots, seventeen blueberries. Oh wow, that's really good. A lot of medical plants. And I've got one of the biofuel, so let's let's get those things cooking up. We do have a potato seed and we've got a medical plant seed. I think I need one more. Let's see, where's the seeds at? Here we go. Um cotton, onion potato or tomato I mean not potato tomato get them planted oh yeah well that is one I wanted to do I want that and one of those yeah, carrots are getting close we don't have much in the way of fertilizer in there right now let's grab that oh wait a minute let's refill oh I gotta do some some uh, chopping of some wood pretty soon here because I'm down to nine. I do have 200 in my my back stockpile, which is nice. Let's stay here for a second because we want to. Yep, yeah, there we go. We don't want to let that go past. I'm not sure if even being in the refrigerator if this meat spoils. So we're just gonna eat. We gotta eat a couple of these to get everything back up to 100%. Uh, let's eat a tomato. 
I gotta get some more water too. And let's eat that fish. I did do a lot of fishing too off camera. Which that's what I would kind of like to do is get some fishing in. And let's one of the rabbits. It would be cool if they had squirrels too in the game. Let's go grab a Throw this ash in here. That's good. It almost filled up the fertilizer. Whoops. Didn't need to do that. Nice thing is if you have it in your inventory and you just put the mouse over the top of it, you can hit E and it will fill the ca canteens. Oh, I didn't want to do that. But, oh well. We'll run back and get some more. Because I gotta get this put in the stove. Yeah, see, so we got. Oh, good, we got two more, so that's good. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm looking right at it and it was track of what I was going to do. Um, Got to get that meat put in the refrigerator. And let's put these in here. And we, we're going to get these generators up and going. Let's divide this in half because I want to take and uh, put a little bit in each one of these. That way you got two going. You know, basically get about the same amount of time where we get double the the power. You were only at 500, so let's get these running for a little while, because that's the only way it'll go past 500 is if you've got an external power coming in. Okay, let's get that up above 500. I'm gonna probably have to make another storage. So that one's capable of 500, and this one's capable of 500, but still it won't go above 500 for some reason. Let's see what's the power storage. I could probably make one now. Let me get... Oh, that takes 500 power. See, we, we gotta be careful because we you don't want it to go down too low or your refrigerator goes out and then you got a lot of spoiled food. I need one more cartridge. We need zinc and copper to make more cartridges. Okay, there's zinc. Yeah, I don't have any copper right now. So that's not going to happen right now. So we do have one. Uh, let's see, what do we need? Yeah, we're going to wait. Take those out of the inventory right now. We could make some more biofuel too. Let's do that. Do three more. Get because we want to build up as much power as we can. Because that's one of our our things that's kind of not good right now is the amount of energy we have. Oh, good. We do have another four, so we can make a, another one. Let's see. Let's see, I got 29. Oh, here we want to make rope too. Make a whole mess of rope. Uh, component scrap metal. Yep, there we go. We got 56 of them now. That's good. We do have 47 rope already. See, we got a lot of fibers too, so we'll be able to make quite a bit. We do have eight gun point um, parts now because I had gotten a. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, because I had gotten uh, a lockpick and found a case. Let's get split this in half and put another two in each of these. Whoop! 
tab was closed. I almost ran out. <laughs> That's the problem. It's like I need need the bullets to get the fuel, but I need the fuel to get the energy to make the bullet the, to make stuff that I need for the bullets. It, it's uh, <laughs> everything is needed for everything else, which really makes the game pretty cool. Let's get some water. Because that's the last thing that we need for to get ourselves all the way up into the green. Let's see, where are we at? 879, that's good. 880. Let's go take a look and see if it's windy up. Doesn't look like it is, because it's pretty clear out here right now. Well, it's moving a little bit more than it was earlier in the day. Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode right there. We got a ton to do still. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting the diving equipment because we need to be able to get under underwater to find the caves, which then I can get more um, like crystals, I think, and stuff like that that are in the caves. There's just a ton to do, so... Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists, and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.